Hey artisans, it's your Sam James. I'm deeply grateful for all the feedback and I'm elated that everyone's found the videos helpful. My purpose in life is to leave everybody better than I found them. So thank you for the fulfillment. So today I'm telling you about one of America's finest and most stunning Chardonnays that as of this video right now, nobody really knows about. Or as your kids would say, they're sleeping on it, which is fine because that makes this a sensational value. So let's dive right into the glass. We've had the past six vintages of this Chardonnay and it just keeps getting better and better. Everything about this Chardonnay is very premium and it should actually cost twice as much, but it doesn't for now. So that's why I wanted to bring attention to it. This is the dream team of winemaking. This is the Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green of winemaking. The owner of Lingua Franca is none other than master sommelier Larry Stone, who is actually my sister Christine's mentor and by third degree, my mentor as well. Don't ask how long ago that photo was. All the master sommeliers I've had the pleasure to meet have been intimidated by how much Larry Stone knows and by his supernatural palate, as well as his incredible memory. We can thank Larry Stone for mentoring and basically incubating the world's greatest wine figures when he was at San Francisco's legendary Rubicon restaurant. One of those figures is none other than Raj Parr. And so the history starts in 2010 when Larry Stone was in Oregon helping Raj with his brand new project and helping to run Evening Land. And while he was there, he noticed the vineyards that were adjacent and directly next door to the legendary Seven Springs Vineyard. And that is the property that now is Lingua Franca. He knew it was such a great property that in 2012, he dove in. Larry then gets the help of the most elite white burgundy legend, Dominique Lafon, to join the winemaking team. And the rest is history. So I said I'd explain what makes this wine so premium. Well, to start, a few months back, I attended a wedding reception at the Rosewood Hotel on Sand Hill Road. And they were serving this wine at their Michelin star restaurant, Madeira. Not just for the wedding, but regularly on the wine list. So if it's good enough for the people that stay there, <clears throat> the winery price is $40, which is already a bargain considering that this is a blend of the single vineyards that go for $75 to $100 or more on their own. In terms of winemaking, this is whole cluster pressed, aged Sir Lee for 11 months in a combination of new and used fine French oak barrels. But here's the thing. After malolactic fermentation, this wine is then put back into the tank on its lees six months prior to bottling. All of this is done for Chardonnays over $100 and white burgundy over $150. This winery is no one hit wonder, so don't bother waiting for the critics. But if you have to know, last year wine enthusiasts had these very nice things to say. Yep, very well deserved. Um, wine Spectator definitely likes it. Antonio Galoni and the Venice team do as well, as we can see here. Let's dive into the wine itself. This is as balanced as it gets when it comes to Chardonnay. It delivers everything you could want in the most sophisticated and elegant package. What does that mean? Well, if you've had the Chateau Montalena Chardonnay, just imagine that, turn down the oak several notches and add in a few dashes and streaks of really mouth-watering, juicy Meyer lemon, grapefruit, lemon peel, the oak is there, but it's in such a imperceptible, subtle, graceful way. It's almost as if someone is standing right behind me holding a pear in one hand and a cinnamon stick in the other. It's fragrant, but so soft. So this wouldn't be considered a buttery Chardonnay as it's not on the creamy side of the spectrum. You'll quickly realize the benefits of having a Chardonnay that is this vibrant, radiant, and vivid. I mean, it's downright chuggable. Don't be surprised if you finish a bottle in record time. Okay, so if this is so spectacular, why are we able to sell it for $30? Well, for starters, this is not really meant to be sold to retailers. It's really meant for restaurants and for their wine club. One look at Wine Searcher, there's only a handful of listings. Um, yes, we are the lowest among the lowest in the United States. But unfortunately, this winery also suffered two gut punches. One was COVID, shutting down the world for two years and all the places that would buy from them. The other gut punch was the wildfires that ravaged Oregon as well. So if nothing else, Larry and the entire Lingua Franca team deserve your support. But don't think it's charity or that you're settling for anything. This wine is so delicious that I actually want to wrap up this video so I can go home and share this with my girlfriend. Thank you so much, Arizans. Can't wait to see you again. Cheers.